there. Uh, my name is James Christie. I'm a product specialist for the Ad Creator platform, uh, and I'll be taking you through today's webinar on visual effects for ad designers. Uh, so we're going to uh, get started shortly. I just want to make a, a caveat here that I think there are some issues with Amazon at the moment. Um, so we'll, we'll try and get through this uh, as best we can. But apologies if we do run into any issues uh, with the platform, because I think there are uh, issues on it at the moment. Uh, okay, so uh, as I say, with today's webinar, uh, we'll be talking you through the, the visual effects for ad designers. Uh, so a, a nice new kind of... Uh, family of features that have been added to the platform. Um, and throughout today's webinar, if you do have any questions, feel free just to ask away uh, within the uh, the questions panel um, as you just have them. Uh, so with the format of this, we're going to run through some uh, through some slides quickly just to uh, illustrate the, the top level points of the component uh, and essentially how it will work. Uh, and then what we'll do is we'll jump into, rather than kind of looking at the uh, the, the demos within the, uh, the PowerPoint itself, uh, we'll jump into the actual platform uh, and start taking a look at them there. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we'll, we'll jump into the Ad Creator Builder itself uh, and we'll start taking a look at the uh, the new visual effects component um, and seeing some innovative ways in which we can actually start utilizing it along with the new actions that are there as well. Cool. So hopefully uh, you can see my screen uh, and with that, we'll, we'll, we'll get started. So essentially, the idea of uh, the visual effects component uh, is to instantly elevate creators with preset lightweight animations. What we mean here is that there's no additional assets needed or anything like this, and we can use the existing drag and, drag and drop interface uh, to simply start creating really um, stunning visual effects uh, within the creatives. Um, so the four main kind of the points here are, are the fact that it is instant production. So as I said before, you can just simply drag and drop this from the components panel. You don't need any additional assets. Uh, there are loads of um, predefined kind of presets which allow you to instantaneously um, start producing these great effects within the ads. Uh, if you're not happy with the presets, we have a range of settings that allows you to uh, to modify these. So you can modify things like distance from the camera, uh, distance, uh, so speed, uh, chaos, so how random the particles are. Um, and in some of them, you can even change the emitter. So where the actual, uh, the, the position of the emitter, so where it's actually kind of uh, emitting the particles from. So you can see that we've got a, a whole breadth of different uh, configuration settings that allow you to customize these as well. In addition to this, to help you and your workflow, we have a live preview feature. Um, and this is separate to the public preview, which you normally use to, to preview the ads. And instead, whilst you're actually building the ads with the, uh, the visual effects component, you'll actually be able to see your changes happening in real time uh, whilst you're actually moving the component about. So this is a great kind of uh, addition to the, the workflow of this. And then lastly, but not least, obviously, it's compatible across all of the rich media formats. So this is completely platform and environment agnostic. So this will work on uh, iOS, Android, mobile web, uh, and in-app as well. So with some of the components, obviously, there are restrictions in some of the environments that we'll run in. Uh, this is obviously a very universal type uh, feature uh, and will run, obviously, in, in all of the, the various platforms. So the first one we take a look at is the ambience component. And the idea of this is to essentially uh, set more of a mood for the ad. Uh, so it's not necessarily meant to kind of maybe illustrate any uh, particular product or, or, or things like that, whereas as some of the others may. Uh, as I say, this just kind of sets a bit of a uh, ambience, as, as the name suggests. Um, so with this, we've got uh, various presets. And we can see these kind of uh, rolling away in the background just here. And we've got things like the campfire, uh, flying through space, soapy bubbles, um, as well as underwater, which gives you more of a kind of uh, uh, maybe a carbonated effect, which we'll take a look at later. Uh, and then we also have things like uh, the campfire. We have the celebrations, uh, and this is a bit more fun. This is to really liven up the ads uh, without the need, again, for any additional assets or any additional work on your part. Uh, we have presets here again, um, and we can just uh, take a look at this. So we've got things like uh, the dollar dollar bills there. Uh, we've got confetti. Uh, stars with the twinkle twinkle, uh, balloons as well, when we can customize all the kind of colors, there's some preset colors and things in here as well. And uh, we've got other things like um, confetti poppers and, 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 and falling down um, uh, party time confetti there as well. So this is, allows you to kind of, you know, especially for things like uh, sales, draw attention to particular items um, and essentially just lift up maybe verticals that aren't so exciting. So maybe something like finance, uh, where it's not the most exciting of, of kind of, uh, as I say, verticals. It allows you maybe just to inject a bit of life into these kind of creatives, uh, as I say, uh, very easily just with drag and drop. Uh, we've also got smoke. So again, this is maybe more product specific. Uh, and again, we've got some great examples here, uh, hopefully quite self-explanatory what the smoke does. Uh, but we've got things like um, a sizzling plate, uh, which allows you to, to obviously illustrate hot food, things like a sauna or steam room as well. Um, we've got the hot drink, 
uh, ideal for coffee. And then I think one of my favorites, which is the cigarette smoke. Um, and we'll take a look at these as well, as I say, when we jump into the demos. So hopefully uh, with the smoke, I mean, other, other um, ideas for using this might be in automotive as well, where we can start, you know, simulating um, burning of tire smoke uh, to, to, to illustrate, you know, a bit of speed or something like that. Um, so you can think outside the box with these as well. And you don't just have to uh, be confined, obviously, to, to how we suggest that you use them. Uh, and then lastly, we've got the weather component. So the weather component was actually released uh, just before Christmas. So this was the first of the visual effects family. Uh, and what we see here is obviously we've got multiple permutations of this again. Uh, and we've got snow, rain, uh, sun, cloud, fog and wind. And again, uh, each of these has their own presets under these conditions as well. So hopefully you've, you've already experienced this and you've, you've got a bit of an idea as to how the component may work. Um, and as I say, through this, we'll just take a look at some of the new effects uh, that we covered briefly before. So what I'm going to do there is now uh, jump into the platform itself. And as I say, bear with me with this because I, I, I know there may be some problems. So hopefully uh, we won't be experiencing them ourselves. Uh, so let's just jump into the platform. Uh, and we can jump through into the, the previews that we've got set up just here. So if we just refresh this one. Hopefully it's going to refresh. If not, as I say. Because this is going to be a very kind of tentative demo. Let's have a look, Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, maybe let's not try refreshing them because this is, oh, it's thinking about it. This looks a bit more positive. Okay, great. So we can see here uh, a, a kind of retail type brand um, for a perfume. Uh, and all we're using here is a very subtle uh, ambient component uh, just to see these kind of these calming effects in the background. So again, trying to set the mood here as opposed to actually convey um, any action on the product itself. Uh, but here we can see that if this was removed, obviously it's going to be quite static, quite bland. Uh, and it just adds another dimension to the advert itself. Um, so we can see an effective use of the, uh, the ambient one. Uh, just there. Uh, we can take a look at the uh, food and beverage. I'm not going to refresh this just in case again. Um, and, and again, what we can see is, is obviously the bubbles coming up through the uh, the sparkling wine just there. Uh, another great ex execution of this is if you've seen uh, one of the, the mini scroller sample ads um, with the uh, the Sly Fox beer, uh, you can always use uh, the, the component to illustrate uh, bubbles coming up within the bottle itself. So a useful or a uh, intelligent use of, of masking, for instance, will enable you to uh, to you have a semi-transparent PNG, for instance, laying over top of the component and then having the bubbles uh, appear in the background. So you can create some cool effects. Again, thinking outside of the box with this, uh, you know, the, the, um, the possibilities are, are potentially endless. Uh, we've got another one here for, uh, for soapy bubble, bubbles. Uh, again, let's just try refreshing and see if it loads up. So I think half the internet is down at the moment. So we're doing well just to have the... Uh, what we have at the moment. And as this loads, uh, I mean, hopefully, as the name suggests, this will be similar to the bubbles that we just saw, but instead, obviously, uh, soapy. So they're going to be a bit bigger, useful for things like uh, cosmetic products, so face creams or hand soaps. Um, and again, just bringing a bit more life to the creatives. Um, so if this doesn't load in the next couple of seconds, then we'll, we'll skip on to the next one. Um, and we can make all these available to you afterwards as well, um, should we not be able to obviously go through these today. So let's skip that one for now, maybe come back to it a bit later. The other one we have is the, uh, again, another one of the ambience features. Um, and this is the, the kind of the flying through space. And, and you can change all the, uh, the various kind of effects here. So obviously where this is uh, or originating from, uh, the speed, uh, and obviously the density of the particles as well. All these factors can be changed. So you can obviously modify this to suit your creative um, as it needs to be. Uh, another nice one, um, quite useful, obviously, for things like food brands. Uh, here we've got an example of, of a coffee, uh, but again, doesn't have to be constrained to this. You, again, you can change things like, obviously, the height, um, uh, the strength of it, the the the, uh, uh, the density again. And uh, so all these factors can be changed to really uh, tailor this to the exact needs that you that you really need. And then lastly, we've got uh, quite a nice one, which is the the fire. Um, and we can see here, we can actually layer them up as well. So here we see that we have an orange one with the particles going up just here. And then on the left hand side, we can see one with the red. So we can layer these on top of each other to create a bit more depth and a bit more uh, of a visual effect just there. Uh, 
So we can see through these live examples that uh, that we've got some uh, some great examples of, of how to actually implement these. And what we're going to do now is uh, jump into the actual builder uh, and just take a look at how we can implement this uh, in there itself. So I'm just going to pause there quickly uh, and uh, just give the opportunity to ask any questions at this point. If you do, uh, feel free to, to ask away in the questions panel. Okay, so I have one question here. Can you control how long uh, the, uh, I presume that means the effect appears maybe? Uh, yes, you can do that. And that's, that, that's what we'll be taking a look at. So we have two new actions introduced with this as well. So if we go into new action, component specific, uh, we have a start and a stop effect. Um, so you can determine on user interaction or on certain events uh, when to start and stop this animation. Uh, so yes, you can do that and you can control that. So what we do now is we'll jump into the actual platform um, and we can see actually how to implement these. Um, as I was just trying before, as I said, because of the uh, some of the issues that we have with Amazon at the moment, it might not be possible to save this, but we can always see how this looks afterwards. Um, so first off, let's just go to preview it. Uh, and let's hope I haven't, or maybe because I couldn't save it, it may, it may not. But let's, uh, fingers crossed it. Okay, I'm going to close this down because I don't want to ruin the surprise. Um, and instead, we'll, we'll, we'll take a look at the finished article afterwards. Uh, but essentially, what we have here is if we take a look through the kind of the layers panel, we can see that we have a composition of a background image, um, uh, various other elements. Key thing here is obviously a swipey gallery, um, a big kind of big sale sign that, that animates down into the, the bottom, some logos and obviously some, some uh, uh, hotspots as well. So what we're going to do here is just add a bit more life to this. Um, I don't have the plain version of this, which would obviously illustrate a kind of a before and after, uh, but hopefully this will still work to the same effect. So what we're going to do first is uh, we can take a look at some of the other executions uh, and then work in uh, the, the, the confetti popper that we're actually going to work on with, with this particular creative. So first off, we've got the ambience. Um, and the way that we're obviously modifying these is through the info panel. So if we take a look in the info panel here, we can see that all the in the, in the components panel, we have the, the weather effects that have been released, say, just before Christmas. We have the ambient smoke and celebration, and it's simply a matter of dragging and dropping them onto the stage. So we can just pop this one over first and, and just take a look at the, uh, the various um, aspects to this. So we can see here under ambience, we've got different uh, presets. So we can take a look at things like our soapy, calm, space, energetic. And we see again with things like the energetic, for instance, we can uh, change the emitter position. So it may be that we want it in a particular area. We can change things like direction as well. Um, and potentially we can start changing the, um, the the shape as well. So by default, obviously you don't need to upload any assets, but if you want that level of customization, you can. And all you need to do is hit the custom button here and choose an asset that you have from your, uh, your assets panel. Uh, obviously this isn't the most appropriate of assets, but obviously we've got $99 uh, price tags just uh, just floating about there. And if we want to get back to the original, we can just hit reset and, uh, and all the uh, initial settings are, are, are kind of reset there. Uh, we have the campfire as well under this one. Um, and all these are, as I say, under the, uh, the ambience component. So if we just remove that one from the stage, we can instead take a look at the smoke um, and just go through some of the options that we have here. So again, we have the smoke. Uh, we can go through to the, the options for this. And we can change the presets between sizzling plate hot drink, so we can see that hopefully uh, in the background, steam room, which is a bit more intense. And we can change things as well in the settings like the feathering of this. So if we want, we can see this is right up to the edge. So if we deselect it, um, this is obviously a nice illustration of the, the live preview as well. Uh, but if we select this, we can choose to feather the edges just to introduce a less kind of harsh uh, interaction between the, the edge of the component and the creative itself. Um, uh, we can also have a bit of preloading on all of these effects, so we can start to uh, have them working around 10 seconds before uh, it loads, or alternatively, we can change that setting as well. So let's just change the feathering back, uh, go to the options, and then take a look at the last one, which is the cigarette smoke. Uh, so we get a nice kind of th thin plume of smoke here, but quite dense as well. Um, and you can change all the settings again here, such as density, uh, chaos, which is the, the randomness. And um, we can also change, uh, again, if we wanted to, uh, the, the shape that's coming in here. So then we'll take a look at the, uh, the component that we're actually going to use, which is the celebrations. Um, and we can see by default, we should have a confetti falling down there. Uh, we take a look at some of the other presets. 
we go through to the options here, we can see we've got the confetti popper, which we're going to look at now, uh, the twinkle twinkle, which is just a nice little star effect, the dollar dollar, which is kind of raining um, whatever uh, image that you want to put there. By default, obviously a bill, uh, but we can change that to a, a custom item as well there. And then lastly, we have the balloon fest. Uh, so here we can see kind of balloons popping up again uh, in a relatively random order. Uh, and we can start changing these with presets for different balloons. So we've got green balloons. Again, start layering these up if you want. And um, we've got 3D as well as 2D balloons just here. So we can see we've got a great uh, variety of, of uh, presets available to us. Um, and now what we can do is actually start incorporating uh, one of these into this particular creative. So the one we're going to work with today is this confetti popper. Uh, and what we're going to have essentially is just these uh, popping in from the left and the right, uh, just to add a bit more of a, a kind of spectacle uh, around this particular advert. Um, so let's just hide this away for now. We're going to change the uh, the location of this. So let me maybe let's just put it a little bit off screen, uh, off of the large one as well. Uh, and we'll change the, uh, for instance, the size, uh, the density, change that to about 100, uh, as well as the speed, just so we've got a, a real kind of energetic flow to things there. Uh, we can take the gravity down slightly, maybe just to 15, and that will change obviously how the particles are falling. And then we can change the direction maybe just to uh, 75, just so it's going through uh, a little bit just there. So we've got this uh, popping up just here. And what we can do is just Control or Command C, Command V, uh, and just have it on the other side as well. So maybe let's put it around here. Uh, but this time what we're going to do is change the options. So we're going to change this to a different color. In this case, we'll call it silver. We can just name this as well. So let's just say silver right. Uh, and again, we can change some of the settings. So it's because we copy and pasted, it, it's taken exact same ones. But the only thing we might want to change here is the direction. So it's going in the other side. So 110 degrees. And again, just change the emitter position. So we've got our kind of component canvas just here. So again, we can change this just to be maybe around here. <coughs> and then we'll just select uh, both of these and move them down right in between or just above the uh, the background image just there. So we can see how it's working there. And then lastly, we can just do this one as well. So let's just say red left. And so we can see we've got these and these are constantly going in the background. Um, so to come back to one of the, the previous questions uh, what about controlling, obviously, how long these are going to last for, uh, we may want to do that now. So rather than having this shown indefinitely, uh, what we can do is we already have a, um, let me just find the units and pages panel. Uh, an action set, a custom action set set up here. So we have a confetti action set, which is linked to some other animations. And what we can start doing here is introducing some of the actions that are associated with this new uh, component. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to say, okay, new action, uh, component specific, and start effect. We choose from the start effect one of the components, and then we can just, again, command C, command V, uh, the same effect, and then just go and choose the, the red uh, left, silver right. We'll introduce a short delay. So what this is going to do is start the effect, delay for a short while. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, turn the uh, effect off. And this is hopefully going to give this the illusion of being able to kind of shoot a, a, a ball of confetti um, across the screen. So here we have the start effect for the silver right, red, left. We'll wait for 800 milliseconds. And then lastly, again, component specific, we'll go for stop effect and we'll stop both of them again here. So again, command C. Command V, choose the red left. And then the last thing we need to do is just add some order to these. So we'll just say, okay, uh, let's make sure that the wait uh, happens after the start effect. Um, and then once the wait has ended, then we start the stop effect. Uh, so here is where I think I was uh, having issues earlier, which was with regards to the, the saving of it. But hopefully if that doesn't work, it should still be saved in the background anyway. So let's give it a go in the preview and see how this looks. Um, so essentially what we have here is the uh, the confetti action set. Um, and this is linked up to, to various elements. Um, so we can see here, we can go to the start page, for instance. Uh, I think we go to the events. We can just choose to stop the effects so that they're not kind of uh, going straight from the outset. Uh, and instead, what we have on the swipey gallery just here uh, if we go to each of the individual panels, we see that and when the panel leaves focus, we have the confetti to kind of introduce the next content to it. Uh, so on each of these, panel one, panel two, and panel three, we can see that we're triggering the uh, the confetti uh, to ensure that 
uh, you know, we've got a bit of a fanfare to introduce all of the products. So let's take a look at that in the preview mode now. And we can see, I think we didn't have that stop effect going through. But what we can see is, as each uh, item is introduced, we get a nice flurry of confetti, just adding a new kind of, uh, you know, an extra dimension. Um, and hopefully this illustrates that you don't have to use it just in the ways that we say, but you can start combining, obviously, the actions uh, that we talk about um, and, and, and create some quite cool effects just here. So uh, I think uh, considering the, uh, the, the, the state of uh, uh, Amazon at the moment, that, that went quite well. Um, and just to kind of recap, we have obviously new components here. Uh, in addition to the weather that was released uh, before uh, Christmas, we also have the ambience, we have the smoke, uh, and then the celebration. Each of these has its own presets, and each of these uh, enables you to live preview these. Uh, in addition to the live preview, we can customize on the fly um, and get Im immediate feedback uh, to be able to obviously illustrate these. And then lastly, the key thing to remember is this is available anywhere and you don't need any additional assets. With these presets, you can customize them, but you don't need to. You can just drag and drop and start using these in in-app environments, in web environments, mobile, desktop, tablet, uh, iOS, Android, um, all of these environments. This is a really agnostic feature just here. Uh, so that really kind of surmises the, uh, the, the short introduction to the visual effects component today. Um, I'm happy to answer any questions should you have any. Um, so feel free to ask away uh, in the questions panel if you've got some just now. Okay, doesn't look like there's any questions. Uh, if you do have any issues after the uh, the webinar today, uh, feel free to contact uh, support at seltra.com. Uh, in addition, we do have doc documentation on support.seltra.com. Um, so feel free just to go across there and, uh, and explore uh, the documentation. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Um, I hope you have a good one uh, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.